Hey everybody, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to update your AT&T Moto X to Android 4.4 KitKat, okay? If you haven't already got the update um, by notification, you can go into the settings. I'm just going to go here and go right into the settings. Okay, we're going to scroll down here to About Phone, and we're going to hit System Updates. Boom! You can see right there it says a critical software update 1.140.44.5.en uh, point 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 US 326.5 megabytes is available. Plug in the phone to ensure the battery is not drained. And here are the highlights Android 4.4 KitKat, the latest version of Android, new camera control for focus and exposure, new touchless command control command. Okay, Google Now, find my phone. Oops triggered it uh, new phone dialer <clears throat> new phone dialer application and of course there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can hit the view release notes to load it up on the actual website okay so we're going to quickly load it and see exactly what's inside okay you've got KitKat, phone dialer camera focus and exposure gallery photo editing hangouts sms mms support incorporate a new version of google hangouts that supports integrated sms mms uh, the touchless control nfc host card emulation and accessory support so we're just going to skip all that and we're going to go back here and we're going to hit download shouldn't be too long since it is only 326 megabytes you can see right here I am on 4.2.2 okay that's Jelly Bean and now I will be on KitKat so KitKat if you don't know uh, streamlines the entire OS and all the cool stuff like I, uh, that I like the Tron like influence with the blues are gonna be flattened out for something a little more uh, lighter so less dark and brighter Okay, so we're going to be downloading this thing, and we're at 2%. I don't know why it's taking so long, so I'm going to pause the video right now, and when it's ready, I will, uh, when it gets close, I will resume. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we're at 97%, so it should be done any second now. 99, come on, download the update. 100%, okay? verifying the update and it says do you want to install it let's do install now it's going to power off and it will do its thing and that is my custom boot screen ha 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 he 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 pretty cool kind of really like the Moto X because it lets you customize not just the outside of the phone but also add a little custom boot message okay and we've got the standard Android and system update Booting up again. Okay, so it is now updated. Okay, and if we open it up, boom, you can see that the blue is no longer there it is now replaced by white and it's a little bit different the button is a little bit different the camera buttons definitely changed um, what is this little Android guy app isn't installed I'm assuming that should have been the messaging app whoa there, what was that looks like it was a little slow there Ah, the phone. There we go. There's the phone app. Update complete. Your Moto X has been successfully updated. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that is Android 4.4 KitKat on the Moto X AT&T version. If you spot anything really cool, leave them in the comments section down below, and I'll try to answer it. 
Um, again, it is the news version, KitKat. If you like being on the news version, this is how you do it. Anyway, if you like this video, add it to your favorites, give it a thumbs up, share it to Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.